is brought to you by TNT Sports. The new football season is just tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party. Good news. Ad free listening on Amazon Music is included with your prime membership. Head to Amazon.co.uk slash ad free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. With thousands of ACAST shows, ad free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. This episode is sponsored by Disney Plus. Now, I'm sure it won't come with any of the things Mary Poppins to Beauty and the Beast. The options are. Well, today we're going to tell you it's more than 50 million people. Yes, we can think again. It's so much more than the stuff that we've got done.
our bonus podcast episode where we see how much extra content we can squeeze into your week. Usually it's filled with random things that we sent in and how our advice went down with Steven. Now on Tuesday's episode you will remember that we toasted to jump the touch again and Sophie, who's now Sophie Jump the Touch, uh, they got married over the weekend and we thought we would dive into like an hour after find the original email how many years ago that Jack sent in to us. Because remember, as we said, they bonded about our podcast on their first date. Yes, yeah, so Jack edits this podcast when we record He now edits this he podcast. chops it all together and everything and makes it sound as lovely as it is. And he's marrying Sophie. He's married. Oh, he's married Sophie. So, so, she's a great one. Yeah, thank you. So, it's all the great people. And this is a bit, I remember, I can remember actually doing this letter. How many years ago Jack wrote in to us following the first place so he is now one. This is the email. I've just finished listening to the main so help my sex with my boss. And I'm sure you've been having one time to receive any shouting about my date with uh obviously work colleague Sophie and the possibility of being out having all the tattoos if you just the date. I hope you'll both be pleased to hear that we have a few more dates and that coming across as a complete animal, you know. Oh. As I approached this date, I thought it would only be right to ask you both for advice and reduce the risk of any faux pas. The next date planned involves m- me going to her place to eat her dinner. I'm very confident I could be the cheap, however, I'm slightly nervous at the idea of coming in somewhere else's home. Could you find places to not be on this occasion as her place is much closer for an after work meetup? So, my question is this when can we dinner for someone in their own home? Are there any etiquette tips or things to be aware of so not to upset or offend the Also, if you've got any inside knowledge, I'm so to help me out. Every little help. Yours respectfully, Jack with the tattoos. Because we used to know Jack with a tat. Well, at work. Or yeah, no, idea. that's what we called him. Yeah. And then we gave him a five. And, and now we're getting married. Yes. Yeah. If they have children. I don't want to call the women. Exactly. I don't want the ad for dessert. Will you make it for women? Yeah. I don't want the ad for dessert. I bet you do. I think you all do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And our advice is so good to now marry. How fun. I like that. Our first sex is when we can bear that. Oh, no. We had yours. Oh, yeah, true. Our second sex is when. Uh, Sophie, it has speech. Chow. Um, Oh! That's such a big look. Yes. <laughs> nice, that's such a big look. Clearly, they don't need any intimacy. They're married. And that's the one thing. They've been doing that. But for talking of intimacy, uh, you may remember that last year I was working on the film Red One and Royal Blue. Yes, yes. But we've got a special guest joining us today. Another member of the film. Taylor Hunt. Well, hello, Robbie. Hello. Thank you very much for dropping us. Thank you so much for having me. So, you and Robbie worked together yes. on Red, White, and Royal <laughs> Good start. Red, White, and Royal Blue. Red, right, um, Red, White, and Royal Blue. Yes. yes. And this is a very popular one. Can we say it? Correct. Yeah. So, big invitation, young adult fiction. Uh, came out. Yeah. And it had, yeah, the stuff that it and you, William, were the editor of that. Yes. Is that the correct term? I think, I just think that's how I'm credited, yes. <laughs> I'll find out. I'm seeing it. Well, I actually probably has the paper. I have the tonight. Oh, right. And Robbie was the intimacy coordinator. Correct. Yeah. So many questions. <laughs> <laughs> so many. I can remember at points on the set when we were together and people would come and go, oh, and what do you both do? One of us is the etiquette coach, the other one is the intimacy coordinator. <laughs> yeah. Guess which is which. Exactly. <laughs> it's a fun little game to break the ice. Yeah, people exactly. not really knowing what you derived off the word. No. Or being surprised because it is. I still don't know. No, exactly. I 
How, how, right, first of all, I'm yeah. going to get asked this all the time. Right. How do you get into that? Do you have to be good at intimacy? <laughs> Not today, my real life, but I get yeah. hunted. Yeah, oh. <laughs> no. um, uh, well, I'm like, <laughs> really good in bed. <laughs> 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 you always got to be good in bed. No, I was slightly less excited than that. I was working in theatre, I still work in theatre as a director, work with actors, and I was doing some training and like, fighting direction and stuff. And then I was working in for a couple of years. Quality to train you up when you go and do workshops in schools with boys and young men and about like you said, and then when the training arrives, I asked um, interests and skills of mine, and then you do a training program for like a year that I've taught, like a year, a year, staff, I'm in the room, and then education, discipline, political system, all that. It's got a, a bit about it as well, that a lot of that. Yeah, I'm not that. Yeah. Yeah. The first officially credited diversity coordinator was 2017 in the wow. US, and then in the UK it was 2018. And then with, you think of like COVID taking out a chunk of that time, it's like yeah. really only been a couple of years since it's been around. So people are like, oh, Game of Thrones, that wasn't a bit of like, oh, original Game of Thrones, the, the, the prequel series that we've had, intimacy coordinators, but no, like all the kind of classic sex scenes and nudity moments, nothing. The first time I heard one was Normal People. Yeah. Yeah, that became powerful. Yeah, that was their sex education was the first one. Um, but yeah, it's a bit, and Bridgerton was a good early one as well. Yeah. So that, that's the kind of generation of shows that yeah, I'd like to think that would be more interesting and yeah, you know, be more inspiring. Totally, yeah. So, so I started more company in 2019. 2020, and then there was a good chance, good chance, good chance, really good moment in the industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, so the beginning, there was work starting to come up. There was a bit of okay, you know, great, it's involved. But now it's much more normal. At first, I was working with people nearly exclusively who never worked with an intimacy coordinator. Now I'll come in and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I've done this before. And that's beginning to happen a bit more. Um, but still, there's those people who are like, I've done loads of intimacy without an intimacy coordinator and feel they have a little sense of like intimacy and nerves around it and feel like we can bring that like the time here and they often like oh yeah. why did it happen yeah, yeah 20 years ago so what would you do on set how would you get more reaction to doing a set or do you just do several you have to do that we can 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 do that um, uh, so I will say that before we can get to set, I know that before we can set that, which is really if I've done my job on the you have had all the chats before you're there, yeah, right? So like, no surprise, right? I'm not going to so rock up and then it goes like, oh, the director actually wants a high level of music that he thought they were going to oh, right. right? So we have loads of chats before we look at the script, we talk about what it is, what it's not, speak to the actors, they can say, yeah, most of that's fine, but you don't want to do this, but you know, you don't want to do this, and then you try to make sure that's Potential. Um, and then when we turn up, hopefully everyone's like, you know, and so it's on the same page. But then, yeah, I'm there to go to the next to choreograph that, to make it look realistic, as well as making sure that it works. There's sort of two hats to it. There's like safety, look after people, and our well-being side of it. And then there's the, let's make this a good scene that looks cool and the people are going to get look out of, but there's no, not sort of just pointless safety on the camera, right? It's like making it dramatically exciting that actors are proud of it, directly to the show. Do you find, do you find, I'll bet you, and then it's just like, the line I'm going down here, let's read All the bridges you actually compared to, let's say, It's funny, yeah, so I mean, I, very early, actually, one of my first jobs was I went and covered someone for a day in France, and that was like, I needed a whole different training for work. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so different. And they, I think, saw this like English boy turn up with an English accent going, let's talk about the sex scene. And they were like, oh. <laughs> um, there was a sense of like, we're French, you know. But that was just that experience, and certainly the French um, acting community that do have it. Um, so, yeah, definitely, you need to like, have those cultural. Yeah, um, yeah Brit. So far, if I had to, to generalise what it's written, it's all 
So there is, I think, because the people are a bit like about it, there is a real sense of like great limits makes it very special. It sort of works very well for taking the information to the school. It's kind of rather it has a structure to it. Sometimes people like want to stop going to like rather just about it and they can see it as a bit of like a well kind of make a bigger deal of their situation like demo. Um but yeah, generally appreciated for okay. the British community. And talking of the culture clash or the culture, going back to red, white, and royal blue, that's one of the big sort of plot points is you have Britain and America. Yeah. Shall we just talk about the plot of red, white, and royal blue? So it's just not why they don't bring together. Okay, you can help me. Um, um, so Henry is a fictional prince, and uh, Alex and Jan. Um, and so they're, 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 they're sort of follow their rivalry um, and their rivalry leads to after the brother's wedding. Yeah, so, the sort of world from the uh, brother's wedding. Uh, knock over a cake and it's a huge international friend. Diplomatic So they're the <laughs> so uh, American and uh, and the palace decides that, like, moving so to not make this an issue, they're going to make the two boys seem like they're best friends. And because they were great friends, they were just a bit rough and tumble and not easy. But they snatch the class. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they actually hate each other. And so then, as they uh, begin to have to hang out with each other, we have to pretend they're friends. Oh. Oh. And in between, and the table of music is Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Although I do think they should be my breakfast set. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The yeah. argument I had over the Why No, no, they really shouldn't have spread it across the top. That's the table. Right. Um, that's the table. Which is fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But we're trying to recreate the world house up. Well, they did listen to me in the office. Fair enough. I'm sure that a company of the rest of the world is going to To me, that I'd be like a bit mad. But it's cut off. You want punch on it? Yeah, but it's a famously quite raunchy and has like lots of um, intimacy in it so that is yeah that exists in the film as well so from you know little touches and little brief moments to sex scenes 